So this is kind of my work area. Um, marble slab, I usually slide the laptop back and uh, start when I need to tool. Um, it's got my little 32 inch, or I think it's 27 inch, I don't remember. Uh, just a smart TV so I can stream Netflix. Uh, as you can tell, I got like an overhead light over here, you know, just to uh, put some light on the subject. But I wanted to post the video as the light goes. It does weird shit. There we go. wanted to post a video because I wanted to let... Damn it. I wanted to let all my fellow friends and leather crafters out there to watch Facebook because I just found, I think, a pretty doggone good deal. And I'm going to show you guys what I purchased. Now, keep in mind, I don't know anything about what's in this bundle other than the few pictures that I saw. So the first one is that. It says, oh, letter stamps. Well, if you look, one, two, three, four, five. So take a look at what we got here. And they came just like this, so I don't know what's in here and what isn't. So this says number set, Midas. Looks like a complete number set with a setter. That's one set. Alphabet stamp, Midas. Looks like a small, I don't know what that is, maybe a half inch with a, uh, with a little setter tool in it. Another set. Now, if I had to guess, I would say these are probably Tandies. There's a, so there's that set, also with the setter. And it's got some dust on it. You can tell it's been uh, been sitting for a while. Now this one I thought was really cool because I don't have one like this. These are actually bigger than the letters that I currently have. It's the same style, but they're uh, a bit larger. So there's that one. And then lastly, another Midas alphabet stamp. You can see originally these were $16.95. That ought to tell you how old they are because I can tell you that uh, at least the Tandy versions go for about 40 bucks now. So now this is, uh, this is like the set that I currently, I have two of these sets. So this one will probably be going to... Uh, my buddy in Oklahoma, maybe we'll do some trading. So that alone is worth far more than what I paid for the the lot. This this stuff alone. So I paid seventy five dollars for these five leather stamps. You can see that one has a price tag on it twelve eighty eight. I mean, look at that price tag. Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen a price tag that looks like that in quite a while. Uh, this one has a uh, $7.88, uh, so definitely probably not, uh, can't purchase that for that anymore. So there's, there's five letter or number stamp sets that I got. But now, on top of that, I got a uh, just a regular poly mallet. Nothing special there. Thinking, oh wow, okay, we got a mallet. No, no, guys, I got a whole tackle box full of stuff. So, open this up here. So the first one I opened up. This has got some line twenty, line twenty four snaps. Got some D-rings back there, some different snaps, a couple little decorative things, uh, a setter here. Now, I'm not quite sure what this guy is, so maybe one of you guys could uh, help me out. It looks like that you know, has been struck with a hammer, so 
I'm assuming it's some sort of a, a setter because I dropped the dog on thing and it falls apart. But I'm assuming that's what it is. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any kind of numbers or information on it anywhere, so I'm not sure. But anybody has any ideas, I'd appreciate you letting me know. A couple more setters in there. There's a setter in there. There's a little anvil in there. So got some uh, different types of snaps, D-rings, more snaps, more snaps. Snaps. So, kind of neat. This one was a pain in the butt to get open. So, this is what I thought was really cool. So, first of all, get my big old paws out of the way here. So, there's uh, some, some string, a little X Acto knife, scalpel. Some pretty cool needles. I've not seen a needle. That uh, is designed like this before. There's actually, at least on one of them, it's a very, uh, come on, focus, very pointy, pointy needle. It won't focus, but you get the idea. Um, this I thought was pretty cool. So this is a, a punch, and then it has the, the different tips that go with it. So that's pretty sweet. I don't currently have one of those, so... I was happy to get that. This I thought was really awesome. So there's quite a few of these. Let me just take them all out so I can line them up and you guys can see how many how many there is. Uh, apologize for the, the quality is probably not that great. But uh, Starpuss told me, you got to post more videos. So... I don't know. We may continue to do this, but there you go. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these, whatever you want to call them, pricking irons or, I don't know, just for stitching. Uh, just angled ones, different different uh, width ones. So those alone, <laughs> if you had to buy one of those brand new, I'd venture to say you'd probably pay at least seven eight bucks a piece for them probably more so there's that um this one just got some basic you know basket weave that's a smooth beveler so that's cool um kind of not real certain this is some sort of crazy uh Maybe punching holes. I've not seen a an iron like that before. There's one other one in here. I had some Q-tips too. So there's a another pricking iron or whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, some uh, big needle thimble. Uh, my big huge finger looks kind of funny. There's that. So close that guy up. Now, this whole top thing is just absolutely full of stuff. So, there's a nice rotary punch. There's a nice single punch. Now, this I thought was really cool. I don't have one of these. I was very happy to see this. That's like a button setter. I always have to set with the... Uh, with the hand and the anvil and then I always end up screwing it up the first couple times because I don't hit it straight so that's neat uh, I thought that was pretty cool um, forgive me you're gonna hear a horrible crash when seeing the stuff goes flying so here's another uh, really nice rotary punch so a couple couple punches I thought that was pretty cool um, some nylon. I don't know if the guy was into like maybe dog collars or he did mention that he used to make uh, he was in the fire department and he did some kind of um, like fire helmets and stuff. So there's there's some nylon stuff that was in there. Eh, just your basic Stanley speed screwdriver, but who doesn't need another screwdriver, right? 
Uh, some thread. I don't know what in the world I would ever do with that. That is very gold thread, so probably won't do anything with that. Uh, I believe this is a rotary cutter. Yep, it's a rotary cutter. Um, probably needs a new blade, but it's all right. I didn't have one to begin with, so really nice all Stanley. And all this stuff has definitely got some age to it, I think. Um, you know, I have one of these, and I'm not really sure what this thing is. So anybody out there that, that does leather work can tell me or give me an idea what that tool is used for. I don't know. I've never used one, but why not? Uh, here's an edge, edge groover. Figures. <laughs> The one size I do have is a size three, and then I get another one with a size three. So maybe three is a pretty popular uh, popular size. Uh, speed stitcher, which I definitely don't have one of these. So that's kind of cool. I'll be interested to uh, play with that. It sounds like it's got, yep, it's got all the stuff in it. So different needles and the wrench. So that's kind of cool. Some very big forceps. Uh, there's that pair, and then there's I'm sure there's a curved pair in here somewhere. Yep. So there's the uh, the curved pair. So that's pretty neat. Uh, what else do we got? A pair of side cutters. Again. You know, who doesn't need a good pair of side cutters? So, running out of table here, boys. Uh, ah, this thing. This is another thing. I'm not, I think this might be a V Groover, but I'm not sure. So, anybody out there can give me a hand. It does have a made in the USA on it. Uh, if you can make out that part number there. Not quite sure what that guy that guy is. So anybody else, give me a hand there. Oh, we all know what one of these are. We all started using one of these. I've got a Coco Bolo burnishers now for my Dremel, but <laughs> we all started out with that one or the the metal one from Tandy. Uh, safety Skyver. I have one. Nothing wrong with having a double. Uh, Looks like another uh, stitch groover, which is cool. I've got a couple of those. I mean, there's a little bit of surface rust on these things, but it's it's nothing bad. It's definitely something that's worth taking a few minutes to clean up, considering what this would cost you to purchase new. Um, coming down to the end here, some double-sided tape, maybe, I would assume. And this stuff looks old, man. I don't know what you could buy for a dollar forty these days. So oh, here we got another package of this stuff. So a little spool of lace, which is cool. We've got quite a few of those, but again, nothing wrong with having extra. We've got uh, thirty pack of needles. These are some small, probably sewing needles. I don't know how much good they'll do me, but if I don't use them, the wife sure will. These are what I'm looking for. So there's some pretty big, heavy, uh, heavy duty needles there. Definitely put those to use. Uh, looks like some leather. It was probably just boot laces, but again, good for a project. Maybe a quiver or something, sewing it up, sewing it together. Looks like there's some more of that tape or ribbon or whatever the hell it is. Oh, look at these. Bunch of conchos. Again, you know, could use a little cleanup, but Christ, do you want to go to buy those? Probably 50 cents a piece, maybe a buck a piece, depending on where you get them from. And there's, what, a dozen of them there? Ten of them, you know. So 
that's about it. I mean, it's nothing else that box needs cleaned out a bit. Like all of our toolboxes, it's full of stuff. But just wanted to make this little video and let you guys know. Watch your, uh, there's lots of groups on Facebook. And, you know, there's a lot of people on there that think what they have is gold and think that, you know, they buy craft tools for five bucks a piece when they're on sale and want to sell them for, for 10 or, you know, grandpa did leather work on the side and he's, he's passed on or something and he wants to sell stuff. So be realistic about what you have. Um, I think there's deals out there to be had. You just got to look for them. And, uh, thanks. This is probably the longest video I've ever made. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you'd like to see any more thinking about maybe doing some, uh, some videos on the work I do. Here's a good example. Made this little holster for my 357, or sorry, that's a 38. But that turned out kind of cool. Make a lot of guitar straps, a lot of belts, bracelets like that. So, all right, all. Have a great day. Check me out on Facebook or on Instagram, both Big Dogs Leather. Thanks.